Chapter 21, Rank 11 Soul Master. The same transformation appeared on the little grass snake as its earth and yellow body gradually turned yellow. Its scales stuck out a bit now, and they contained a distinct radiance to them. Those golden stripes extended from its tail and up its body, converging at a single point on its head. The grass snake grew one centimeter from its previous eight centimeters. Its protruding tiny scales had turned golden in color. The murky look in its eyes was gone, replaced with clarity. So hot. Ah, so hot. Tang Walin wasn't aware of what was happening to his body. The only thing he could feel at the moment was an indescribable pain from an intense heat, as if his body was being smelted inside a furnace. After an unknown period of time, the scorching heat began to cool down. However, it was replaced by a numbness which permeated throughout the four limbs and hundred bones. It was as if a myriad of insects was crawling about within his body. Tang Walin wanted to cry out in pain, but he was unable to release a single sound. He already began to look back fondly at the scorching heat he had experienced beforehand. The pain tormented him to the point that his body wished for a release of death, but his mind was abnormally clear. He could clearly feel all of the pain throughout his body. If the spirit master from before were here to test his spiritual power, he would have discovered that Tang Walin's spiritual power continually rose under this torment. The pain in his body gradually disappeared, and his fuzzy consciousness went with it. Under his clothes drenched in sweat, the golden veins pattern hadn't waned at all. Instead, it had permeated into his skin. The blue silver grass moved like a receding tide as the little grass snake climbed onto the hollow of Tang Wuling's palm and entered it. The golden scales upon its forehead returned to normal as its body returned to its original dullness. When Tang Siran joyously returned home, he encountered Naya blocking the doorway. Big brother is fusing with the spirit soul. You can't go in. Naya resolutely said as she gazed at Tang Siran. Tang Siran asked with a dull voice, What did you say? He's already begun fusing with it. Naya nodded. Big brother said that he didn't want to burden mom and dad. Tang Siran stumbled a few steps backwards and collapsed into a chair. His expression changed in an instant as pain colored his face. He forcefully struck his own head and said to himself, Tang Siran, why can't you face reality? Why must you be so weak? It's because of your weakness that you've harmed your child. The large federal coins he clutched in his hand spilled onto the table. It was too late. It was too late. He suddenly lifted his head. Naya, how long has Lin Ling been fusing with the spirit soul? Naya said, he started shortly after you left. Tang Siran cried out in alarm. He still hasn't finished. He should have already finished after so long. Let's go take a look quickly. Naya hesitated for a moment before nodding her head. After he opened the door, Tang Siran saw Tang Wuling lying on the bed. Lin Lin, he cried as he flew over to Tang Wuling's side. The spirit soul ball was left beside the bed, already devoid of the grass next spirit soul. Tang Wuling's brow priest as he lay on the bed, his clothes completely soaked in sweat. Tang Siran blamed himself within his heart. He thoroughly understood that such a situation shouldn't have occurred during a spirit soul fusion. It was highly likely that his son encountered an accident while he was fusing. Tang Wuling was immersed in deep sleep. Fortunately, his vital signs were normal. Two streams of tears flowed down his cheek as Tang Siran tightly embraced his son. His son was only nine years old yet had to bear so much already. I'm sorry, son. Dad is so sorry. It's all because of dad's incompetence. Naya stood to the side and silently watched as Tang Siran cried. Once again, a look of perplexion colored her pretty purple eyes. In the evening, Tang Wuling woke up. As he opened his eyes, he gradually regained awareness of his surroundings. He abruptly sat up, sensing the changes within his body. The scorching heat and numbness had already completely disappeared and his body now felt as light as a feather. What's more, his clothes had already been swapped for a set of clean, fresh ones. Breathing had even turned into a type of pleasure for him as his whole body felt free and invigorated. The soul power within his body had strengthened by a lot. With just a thought, a layer of soul power emanated from his body. Rank 11. He had broken through and entered realm of rank 11 soul power, officially becoming a soul master. Although the little grass snake was indeed a defective spirit soul, it still managed to complete its mission. Its heart was full of sadness as it entered Tang Wuling's body. Tang Wuling thought to himself, even if I can't become a powerful soul master, I still have the support of soul power. At the very least, I'll be able to become a pretty good blacksmith. After thinking these thoughts, he swung his arms out energetically. Pa! A popping sound resounded in the room. Tang Wuling was astonished at the feeling in that instant when he had waved his arm through the air. What kind of situation was this? The door opened before he had the chance to try again as three adults and one child entered the room. Son, son, are you alright? Lang Yue had already burst into tears as she rushed ahead and embraced Tang Wuling. The sky had darkened outside of the window. Surprisingly, it was already evening. Tang Wuling still remembered that he had begun fusing in the morning. It had actually taken him this long. Aside from Lang Yue, Tang Siren, and Naya, there was one other person. That person was Tang Wuling's forging teacher, Mang Tian. Tang Wuling hadn't gone to work that day, so Mang Tian had called over with a soul communicator. After finding out about this matter, he immediately rushed over. I'm fine, Mom. Tang Wuling softly said. Lang Yue looked down towards her son and firmly said, Son, let's not try to become soul masters anymore. Just saying as an ordinary person is fine. Tang Wuling smiled. Mom, I really am fine. It's just that I'm a true soul master now. I'm at rank 11. My fusion finished without a hitch. That grass snake spirit soul was really suitable for my martial soul. If it was a powerful spirit soul, I can't say for sure that I would have been able to fuse with it. Lang Yue's tears couldn't help but surge forth again when she heard her son's comforting words. Tang Siran let out a sigh. The matter was finished. Continuing the conversation would be pointless. It was impossible to reverse a spirit soul fusion. It would only upset Tang Wuling more if he was told that Tang Siran had managed to secure the money. Rank 11. Bring out your martial soul and let me take a look, Mang Tian said with a deep and resounding voice. Chapter 22. Teacher is also a soul master. Tang Wuling finally noticed him and hastily said, Teacher, Mang Tian nodded. Come here. Tang Wuling looked at his mother, then his teacher, before jumping off the bed. He lifted his right hand, and with just a thought, the dim room immediately lit up. A white ring of light slowly rose from his feet and revolved rhythmically around his body. This was a soul master soul ring. A white soul ring represented a ten-year soul ring, the lowest type. Spirit souls hadn't existed ten thousand years ago when soul rings were still the most defining characteristic of a soul master. Tang Wuling opened up his hand to reveal a brilliant yellow radiance. Within it appeared the little grass snake. Immediately afterward, a slender blade of blue vine-like grass as thick as a finger twirled into existence. The vine spread outwards, quickly spreading into every corner of the room. This was the first time he had released his martial soul since he had become a true soul master. The difference between not having a soul ring before and having one now was as different as black and white. He felt as if this grass was an extension of his own consciousness. Anything it touched would be immediately transmitted back to him. In fact, he could even sense the elated mood that the little grass snake sent. This feeling was much clearer than during his fusion. Despite the fact that it was nearly a ten-year soul ring, the rhythmic up and down motion of the white light still passed Tang Wuling's body with a radiant luster. This was the glamour of a soul master. Even a single soul ring would make a soul master and an ordinary person as different as night and day. Lang Yue was stunned. Tang Siran's eyes finally regained some determination. And Naya was once again at a loss. Mang Tian lifted up his arm and pulled on some blue silver grass. It seemed as if these slender vines were really weak. After all, how could a trash martial soul and a defective spirit soul fuse together to produce a good evolution? Mang Tian's heart was a bit dreary as looked towards Tang Wuling and said, Don't be discouraged. Although your spirit soul isn't too good, you have still become a true soul master. Your soul power now has space to continue growing. The possession of soul power will prove helpful to any profession you choose. Ten thousand years ago, many soul masters had approved of the first soul tools because their martial souls and soul rings weren't powerful. It
Tang Siren noticed Mang Tian's reaction, and asked thoughtlessly, Mang Tian didn't speak. Instead, he grabbed some blue silver grass and tried to pull it apart. One could only imagine the physical strength he possessed as a blacksmith. However, the blue silver grass only straightened out when he pulled it without any signs of it snapping. This seemingly weak existence was unexpectedly so tenacious. Your blue silver grass is a bit abnormal, Mang Tian said to Tang Wuling. Tang Wuling doubtfully asked, Teacher, what part of it is abnormal? Mang Tian answered, First of all, is its weight. I didn't feel it at first, but I noticed when it fell onto the ground that the sound it made wasn't light at all. After inspecting it again, I discovered that although it is very slender, its body is actually very heavy. It's even heavier than a vine. Blue silver grass with only one soul ring shouldn't possess this type of attribute. Let me test it again first. His eyes suddenly began shining as he said this when four soul rings appeared. One white, two yellow, and one purple. They immediately lit up the room. As a fellow soul master, Tang Wulin subconsciously retreated from the aura released by Mang Tian. Tang Wulin was shocked into speechlessness. According to how soul masters were ranked, zero to ten were soul scholars. Ranks eleven to twenty were soul masters, and after every ten ranks, they would be promoted to a new title. After soul master was soul grand master, soul elder, soul ancestor, soul king, soul emperor, soul sage, soul duo, and at the very peak with nine soul rings, title duos. His blacksmithing master was unexpectedly a powerful soul ancestor with four soul rings. After the soul rings appeared, three spirit souls became visible on Mang Tian's shoulders. The first one was the smallest and weakest, a tiny rabbit. It was crawling about his body while emitting a white ring of light. The yellow spirit soul was a pair of hammers that flickered with a yellow shine. Artificial spirit soul manufacturing process could even make tool spirit souls. It would be impossible for a tool spirit soul to appear naturally. The last spirit soul was purple, a brown that was about a meter tall with two unusually big arms. It looked very fierce as it bared its fangs whilst jumping down upon Mang Tian's shoulders as if it was deciding who it wanted to bite. In addition to the three types of spirit souls released, Mang Tian's martial soul was also shown. It was actually a hammer that glowed with a dim white light nearly identical in appearance to a forging hammer. On top of the hammer were some deep brown bang lines. Mang Tian's martial soul was the earth hammer. After releasing his martial soul, Mang Tian appeared much more imposing as well as magnificent. His first spirit soul shined for a moment before the little white rabbit transformed into a layer of white light that covered his body. First soul skill, ten year soul ability, tenacity. This was an ordinary soul skill that made Mang Tian's muscles more flexible and powerful. Mang Tian forcefully pulled on the blue silver grass with the backing of his soul skill as well as his formidable soul power. A bizarre scene appeared in front of them all. Everyone, including Tang Wulin, expected the blue silver grass to be torn apart. Unexpectedly, however, the dim body of the blue silver grass began to shine under the opposing forces exerted upon it. Chapter 23, Variant Martial Soul. It twinkled with a blue radiance as it turned translucent, revealing a faint golden light from the veins within. Even as Mang Tian continued to pull at it, it showed no desire of breaking. However, Tang Wulin felt his soul power throb for a moment before it abruptly decreased. Ay ay he cried out. Mang Tian looked towards him in surprise. Did you feel something? Tang Wulin told the truth and said, It seems like my soul power has been consumed. Mang Tian revealed a complex expression as he looked at his disciple. He no longer tried to pull apart the blue silver grass. Instead, he recalled his martial soul and spirit souls, then released the grass. Tang Siren anxiously asked, Brother Mang, what's the situation? Mang Tian gave him a slight smile. It seems that the heavens haven't abandoned this child. I'm certain that his martial soul is a variant and what's more, it's a good kind of variant. Variant. Tang Wulin was at a loss when he heard this word, as he had never learned anything about variant martial souls. Mang Tian answered, Under special circumstances, variations can arise in the martial soul. For example, fusing with a highly compatible or highly incompatible spirit soul or soul ring, or being stimulated by an external factor, will all create the circumstances necessary for variation to occur. It's also possible for someone to be born with a variant martial soul or that their martial soul undergoes variation during awakening. There are good and bad kinds of variations. It's possible for a powerful martial soul to be weakened by its variation. On the other hand, it's also possible for a weak martial soul to become powerful due to the variation. His eyes contained a profoundness in them as he looked at Tang Wulin and said, Everyone knows that blue silver grass is a trash martial soul, but a snake-type spirit soul is nevertheless still very suitable for it. Generally speaking, it is possible for blue silver grass to transform into a vine. However, with a martial soul like blue silver grass, the odds of soul power appearing was simply impossibly low. However, I knew someone in the past who also had blue silver grass. When he cultivated the rank 10, he too fused with a snake type spirit soul and his blue silver grass became a vine even thicker than yours. Yet, it was still very weak. I didn't even need to utilize my martial soul in order to tear it apart. However, your blue silver grass is completely different. Even with my first soul skill, I still wasn't able to tear it apart. Common sense would dictate this to be impossible. This is also the first time that I have seen a martial soul strength in relation to one soul power. That is to say, it would have been impossible for me to tear apart your blue silver grass until your soul power ran out. I can't think of any other explanation other than a martial soul variation. Tang Wulin sluggishly looked at Mang Tian. Teacher, so is this a good thing? Mang Tian answered, Of course this is good. However, it isn't absolutely good. It'll all depend on how well you control your martial soul. Logically, when blue silver grass becomes a vine, you should be able to develop towards the control system. Your soul skills should mostly be of the basic harassing vine type. In the scenario that you are able to entwine your opponent, as long as your opponent's soul power is higher than yours, you'll be able to struggle free while also exhausting your soul power. Thus, it will turn into a war of attrition. You won't have any chances of winning in that case. Therefore, it wouldn't be too bad to use your blue silver grass more like a whip. Moreover, who knows if there'll be another variation once you obtain your second soul ring? Due to this, I can't judge how it will turn out in the future, but at the very least, it's promising. From now on, it's no longer a trash martial soul. You can consider yourself to have profited from a disaster. Really? Tang Wulin asked. He looked towards Mang Tian with an expression that revealed his reluctance to believe. It wasn't a trash martial soul anymore, even if it's not a powerful one. At least it's no longer a trash martial soul. Mang Tian said with a dull voice, You saw it just now. My first soul ring is a white ten-year spirit soul, and is equally as weak. However, I was also able to obtain a 100-year spirit soul after queen in great effort. Moreover, I was even able to obtain a 1,000-year spirit soul. Due to me being a blacksmith, I'm able to earn enough money to buy the spirit souls that I wanted. You're very talented at forging, so anything that I'm able to do, you will be able to do as well. Nothing could move someone as much as being able to sympathize with someone in a similar situation. The depression within Tang Wulin's heart had been wiped clean. He didn't have a trash martial soul anymore, and he also had his teacher as a goal for the future now. This reignited the hope in his heart. I still have a chance at becoming a powerful soul master. You didn't request a leave of absence today from work, and you didn't show up, so I'll deduct one day's worth of wages from your pay. Mang Tian made to leave after saying this, but Tang Wulin's excitement wasn't influenced in the least. He jumped up and gave Mang Tian a big hug. You're so light. Mang Tian said in surprise. Yet, this child's strength. After Mang Tian left, the Tang family's cloud of worries and fog of cruelty had transformed into an atmosphere of joy. I'm sorry, Mom. Dad, I made you too worry. Tang Wulin was somewhat ashamed as he said this. Lang Yue once again pulled her son's head into her bosom. It's us who should be apologizing. You're still so young, yet you have to bear such a large burden already. Tang Siran lowered his head as if to contemplate some unknown matters. Naya's lips quivered a bit. It seemed that she wanted to say something, but wasn't able to do so in the end. After eating dinner, another day had passed by once again. Tang Siran and Lang Yue slept early that night
Tang Wuling giggled as he spoke. However, the little brass snake showed no reaction to his words. It couldn't fully comprehend Tang Wuling's desire with its low intelligence. This type of low-level spirit soul could only offer one soul ring, and couldn't give any other type of aid. Tang Wuling's heart stirred as he said, You can turn golden, so I'll call you gold light. How's that? If your whole body can turn into gold in the future, then just think of how formidable you'll be. Naturally, the little brass snake couldn't reject at all. Thus, its name was decided to be Goldlight, a simple name, yet brimming with beauty and freedom. Chapter 24, Nai Leaves. Early in the morning, Tang Wuling awoke from his meditation and discovered himself surrounded by grass. It was as if he was meditating in a world of whistle grass. The feeling here was much better than the one at his home. He was unaware that this was due to the fact that his soul power had entered the realm of soul masters, as well as due to the variation in his martial soul. His cultivation speed was much faster now. Tang Wuling dumped up from the lawn and shook the morning dew off of his body. Lin Lin. Lin Lin. Lang Yue's anxious voice called out from afar. Mom, I'm over here. Tang Wuling said as he hastily ran out of the little garden. Something's wrong. Naya, Naya. She. Lang Yue was panting as she ran over. What happened to Naya? Tang Wuling's heart tensed up. Lang Yue took a deep breath to calm herself before she anxiously said, She's gone. Naya is gone. Ah. Tang Wuling was gobsmacked and quickly followed his mother back home. It was true. Naya was gone. She had only left a letter on her bed. Mom, Dad, Big Brother, I'll be leaving now. Thank you for taking care of me these past few years. But I remember who I am now. My family has come to pick me up, so I have to go. I was really happy during the days I spent with you all. Extremely happy. I really didn't want to part with you all, but from the memories I've recalled, I know that I must leave. I have many things I must do. Big Brother, I will always remember how you looked when you protected me from those bad guys. I will always remember the taste of all the treats you've bought me. Naya. Tang Wuling was dumbfounded as he stared at this letter. Despite adding to their burdens, Naya had brought them numerous joys ever since she joined her household. Tang Wuling was so happy after getting a little sister. He always felt unusually satisfied whenever he watched Naya eat the treats he bought with his forging money, especially when she gave him a sweet smile. How can this be? Naya, how could you leave like this? How could you? Even if you found your family, you can't leave like this. You can't leave. Tang Wuling turned around and ran out. Lang Yue wasn't able to stop him before he rushed out of the house. Naya, Naya. Sobbing screams resounded throughout the small town as Tang Wuling madly ran about, shouting out as he searched for Naya's silver hair and violet eyes. Naya tightly held onto a crude rag doll as she leaned against a wall, one tear drop after another dripping down her face. That was the first present Tang Wuling had bought her with his monthly wage. The rag doll had violet eyes and silver hair that Tang Wuling had dyed himself. It looked just like her. Tang Wuling's image unceasingly revolved in her mind. It was only when they were together that both of them were full of smiles. He seemed to have always been thinking of ways to bring a smile to her face. He was always there to protect her when someone tried to bully her. Even if he was facing a powerful bad guy, he would still be as stubborn as before. Big brother, big brother. Naya whispered, as pearl like teardrops fell onto the ground. Young lady, we must leave now. He scoured the whole town, searching every corner for anywhere Naya might have gone. He even ran along the coastline in search of her for a long time. In the end, Tang Wuling couldn't find a single trace of her. His throat had long since gone hoarse from shouting. Regardless of that, Naya was gone without a trace. Aside from the letter, Naya had left behind a few other things. She had left a small silver pendant necklace with an inlaid silver gem. The gemstone was perfectly round, with a silver thread around its edges. Seven rays of light could be faintly distinguished as they twinkled within the gem. One look and it was easy to tell that it held considerable value. However, in Tang Wuling's heart, this gemstone couldn't possibly compensate for his little sister's presence. Tang Wuling attended school and went to the forging workshop with a muddled head. For the next several days, it was as if Tang Wuling had lost his soul. Every day, he would prowl the great streets and small alleys of Florodansi until late in the night to search for a trace of Naya. He made many mistakes in his forging work due to his mental state, and was firmly scolded by Mang Dian. Tang Wuling couldn't help but continually ask himself, why did Naya leave? Why didn't she tell me where she went? His spirit didn't recover until a whole week later. Red Mountain Academy. Tang Wuling. Lin Zai called out from the lectern. Here. Tang Wuling stood up. His sadness over Naya leaving had lessened a bit after a whole week had passed. He went up to the lectern and accepted Lin Xining's recommendation letter. This was the special recommendation letter from the Red Mountain Academy. As long as one was granted this letter, they would be able to register for an intermediate soul master academy. Every single student in the elementary academy who successfully became soul masters would be recommended to continue their studies at an intermediate academy. No matter what one's martial soul was, they would meet the requirements if they possessed a soul ring. Accepting this letter also signified the conclusion of Tang Wuling's days of attending the elementary academy. Wen Yun Hao winked at Tang Wuling from the seat beside him. We're graduating now. Let's go swap pointers later. Tang Wuling unhappily shot a glance at him. I'm busy. I have to go to work later. Due to the mistakes he had made a few days ago, Mang Tian had added three hours to his daily working hours. Wen Yun Kao's mouth twitched as he said, Coward, you're just afraid to lose to me. Tang Wuling eyes flashed with a furious light. I'm not a coward. Fine then, I'll spar with you after school in the grove. There was a large grove behind Red Mountain Academy. This was where students usually took their nature studies class. It was very quiet here after school, since very few people would generally come here. Wen Yun Kao was still as fat as before. He joyfully dragged Tang Wuling to the grove as soon as the school day ended. Let me tell you, Tang Wuling, you absolutely can't match up to me as an opponent. Tang Wuling didn't utter a word. Good, then. We'll start right here. Wen Yun Kao stopped talking, then impatiently released his martial soul from his hands. After a flash, a short blade appeared in his palm. Compared to when it didn't have a soul ring, the short blade seemed somewhat lighter, with without feigned patterns on its surface. A white ten-year soul ring rose from the soles of his feet. Wen Yun Kao silently moved the soul ring onto the short blade, causing the blade stick to extend out as 15 centimeters of length were added to the upper part of the martial soul. Chapter 25, Thousand Refinements. Did you see it? My first soul skill is knife tip. I even spent an extra 10,000 federal coins to invite a spirit master over to help me pick this spirit soul. Since this spirit soul is also a knife, it directly complements my martial soul. My knife tip will conquer all. Tang Wuling furrowed his eyebrows. Why are you so full of nonsense? When you Kao glared at him, at this point in time you're still saying I'm full of crap. Since I'm worried I'd hurt you, just hurry up and admit defeat. I'll let you off this time. If you don't, my knife tip will not spare you any mercy. As Wen Yun Kao said this, he flicked his wrist and the knife tip shot out towards the sapling's trunk. It was as wide as a bowl, but was still instantly cut down. Tang Wuling stared at him disdainfully. Plants are also living creatures. Why did you cut that sapling for no reason? When Yun Kao was going to open his mouth and reply when he saw that similarly, a white ring had materialized around Tang Wuling's legs. Vine after vine of blue silver grass grew simultaneously from the palm of his hand. Those slender vines of blue silver grass, however, did not directly at Wen Yun Kao. The ends were instead suspended mid-air around Tang Wuling. Moments later, the piercing screams could be heard echoing out from the small forest. Ha. 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 Aio. It hurts. Tang Wuling, you are shameless. If you have the ability to do so, come closer and fight me. Ha. 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 Aio. Aio. I surrender. Can I please surrender? How could you even use your blue silver grass in such a fashion? When the two individuals left the forest, out of the two it was Wen Yun Kao who looked the most pathetic. His entire body was riddled with numerous slash marks. Tang Wuling was still incapable
Why did it turn out like this? With a soul skill, I should have been able to beat you. Wen Yun Kao shouted indignantly at Tang Wulin who was currently supporting him. Tang Wulin replied angrily, Teacher Lin had already said it before, your martial soul is well suited for melee battles, thus it is well suited for the path of the agility attack system. However, you're so fat, how could you possibly be agile? Wen Yun Kao had an unconvinced expression on his face as he asked, then why was it that when my knife tip attempted to hack your blue silver grass apart, it was unable to do so? Tang Wulin replied, well this is my blue silver grass's specialty, so long as my soul power is not depleted, you can't hack it apart. Wen Yun Kao looked up to the skies and bellowed, I will lose weight, I will become an agility attacker, what are you going to eat tonight? I think. It should be pork shoulder. After sending the lightly injured Wen Yun Kao back home, Tang Wulin rushed over to Mang Tian's workshop. What surprised him was that Mang Tian was already waiting for him inside. Teacher. Tang Wulin respectfully addressed Mang Tian. Ever since he knew that his teacher was a 40-franc soul ancestor expert, he had even greater respect for him. Mang Tian nodded his head and asked, So have you graduated? Tang Wulin replied, Yes, I have graduated. Mang Tian then asked, Will you have to go to the Intermediate Soul Academy in Eastie City? Yes. I was planning to tell you, once I go to Eastie City to study, I will not be able to continue learning how to forge from you. Tang Wulin replied, Mang Tian gave an unenthusiastic reply, Just because I like this place for its peacefulness does not mean I won't leave this place. The truth is, all of the work that is requested comes from Eastie City. Your blacksmithing education cannot deteriorate. I also have a workshop at Eastie City and I will give you your own blacksmithing workshop. Every so often, I'll visit you and give you some instruction. Tang Wulin's heart felt a surge of warmth. Teacher, you. Mang Tian's fiery gaze glared at him. Eastie City is a truly large city. It is not like here. Before you go, you have to first complete my test. If not, you have no qualifications to continue learning the blacksmithing craft from me there. The test. Tang Wulin stared blankly at him. Teacher, what test? A ray of light gleamed in Mang Tian's eyes. The thousand refinements. Tang Wulin asked in surprise. Teacher, you are finally going to teach me the thousand refinements. Mang Tian nodded his head. You have fused with the spirit soul and your strength has risen sufficiently. You should be able to withstand the thousand refinements. Finishing one execution of the thousand refinements will count as you passing my test. As he said those words, Mang Tian felt a peculiar feeling within his heart. He could still clearly remember that when he had just started practicing the thousand refinements. He was already 15 years old and his soul power had surpassed the 20th rank. In addition, his martial soul was the earth hammer and was the one that possessed absolute physical strength. By completing the thousand refinements at 15 years old, he was already being seen as a talent in the blacksmithing world. Unfortunately, teacher, can we begin? Tang Wulin's excited voice brought Mang Tian out of his reminiscence. Hold on a moment, I have to first gauge your strength. These few days you have failed many of your assignments. Firstly, you were not focused on your work. Secondly, it seems as though problems have arisen with regards to your ability to control your strength. Mang Tian had been silently observing his disciple and thus had determined the root of his disciple's problems. Indeed, it was not only Mang Tian, but also Tang Wulin who realized that problems seemed to have arisen with regards to his physical strength. That day, after he fused with the spirit soul, he had tried to apply force to his arm and that had resulted in a resounding crack as his movements split the air apart. His strength had indeed grown immensely. In the end, since he had been constantly out in search for Naya, along with the fact that he was still extremely depressed due to her departure, he had not paid any attention to the situation of his body. It was only when Mang Tian reminded him of it that he remembered that there was such a problem that occurred prior to everything that had happened. Thus, for the last few Days, as he had attempted to forge his assigned tasks, he had failed several times due to his strength being too forceful. Mang Tian brought Tang Wulin to his own workshop. His workshop was a lot messier than Tang Wulin's workspace. In a large pile of randomly strewn tools, Mang Tian managed to find a tool that was specially designed to gauge one's physical strength. Strength testing tool. While it was a simple act to manufacture such a tool, it still required one to be meticulous in order to ensure that it would be able to accurately gauge a person's strength. This strength testing tool was built using two parts. The lower portion was a flat square base, while the upper portion consists of a round cylindrical pillar. Behind it lies a two meter tall metal pillar, whereas inside the pillar was a long thin tube filled with mercury. When the blacksmith wishes to test his strength, all he has to do is strike the metal pillar. At that point, the mercury would rise according to the force of the strike and thus gauge the strength. One would have to use a blacksmithing hammer weighing 50 kilograms for the test. The strength testing tool would automatically deduct the excess force supplied from the hammer's weight. Ever since Tang Wulin arrived at Mang Tian's workshop, he was required to test his strength each year. The first time he tested his strength, he could produce a force of 70 kilograms. At that point in time, he was only seven years old. When he was eight years old, this had increased to a force of 100 kilograms. Although being able to produce this force was largely in part to him constantly swinging the hammer as part of his work. It must still be said that producing such strength was extremely shocking. He had yet to test his strength at nine years old. Thus, today was the perfect day to do it. First to start the test with your left hand, Mang Tian passed him the blacksmithing hammer required for strength testing. Chapter 26, 500 kilograms of strength. The blacksmith's strength test was split into the left and right arms. Tang Wulin had surprised Mang Tian the first time he had taken the test, as his left and right arms were exceedingly balanced in strength. His right arm had only been a bit stronger than his left. Tang Wulin gripped the forging hammer in his left hand. The spiral pattern on its handle dug into his tender hand and tough calluses. His grip became exceptionally firm. He took a deep breath and turned his body around halfway. Then his arms suddenly swung the forging hammer with the condensed power of his whole body. At that moment, when he fully exerted his strength, he felt a surge of warmth flowing from his tailbone. In a flash, this warmth spread up throughout his vertebrae. The hammer let out an ear piercing whistle as he swung it, ruthlessly smashing the plate. Bang tilda. The mercury inside of the pillar shut up in a flash. A clear sound rang out in Tang Wulin and Mang Tian's ears, giving them a brief moment of tinnitus. Mang Tian needed his eyes, as if to confirm that what he saw before him was the truth. At this time, the screen revealed a number. An electronic voice coldly stated, Striking power, 483 kilograms. Tang Wulin and Mang Tian could only stand there foolishly in shock. When he took the test the year before, Tang Wulin was already able to shock Mang Tian when his right arm exerted 200 kilograms of force. But now, this number already exceeded the fully grown brother longs. In but a short year, his strength had shockingly increased dramatically again. Moreover, this was just his left arm. A nine-year-old child was actually able to exert nearly 500 kilograms of force with a single arm. This truly had to be innate divine strength. Mang Tian did his best to restrain his emotions as he said, right arm. Tang Wulin switched the hammer over to his right hand and once again took a deep breath. A flash of golden light appeared within the deepest depths of his eyes. He twisted his body again, then swung his arm. Once more, a warm feeling began flowing into him from his vertebrae. This time, the hammer held through the air with an even greater piercing ferocity, causing a series of explosions to sound in the air. Bang tilde. The whole room trembled slightly under its power. This time, Mang Tian had to cover his ears to protect himself from the ringing. The room continued to tremble from the impact, striking power. 543 kilograms. 543 kilograms. He had broken through 500 kilograms. Mang Tian was once again at a loss. Although he had already guessed the boy's strength increased by no small amount, he definitely hadn't expected it to have increased by such an extent. At nine years old, his two arms had combined strength of over a thousand kilograms. His existence could already be considered to that of the little monsters. Although this was nearly explosive power, this was still the strength that could be used when forging. Even with the machine's automatic deduction of the hammer's weight, his arms could still reach a strength of about 500 kilograms. Even power system soul grandmasters
He asked tentatively. Mang Tian woke up from his daze and nodded. I didn't expect your strength to actually reach such a level. Let's go to your forging room. After attending to Tang Wuling's forging room, Mang Tian took out a chunk of silver white metal. I've already taught you what types of metals can undergo the thousand refinements. This here is a piece of heavy silver. Its ductility is superb and it possesses excellent soul power transferring properties. Only the thousand refinements can bring out the full potential of this grade of metal. Take it and use it to attempt your first thousand refinements. The so-called thousand refinements isn't as simple as just pounding the metal a thousand times. Rather, the metal's impurities must be dispelled under continuous forgings, thus increasing its density. Also, the most important effect of the thousand refinements is refining. It can only be called thousand refinements if the metal is refined and improved. For example, there's the tungsten steel in the thousand refined tungsten hammer you're using. It was already very strong, but after undergoing thousand refinements, its size has been reduced by a third while its strength has doubled. Another effect is that its weight has increased by 30%. Compared to another piece of tungsten, only a qualitative change could increase its weight as well as its exceedingly tremendous strength. The tungsten steel's refinement is among the simplest of refinements. Exceptionally, the thousand refinements can give rise to even more unusual effects. The better the effect of its refinement, the higher the value of the thousand refined metal. After reaching the level of the thousand refinements, you must first have the metal undergo the thousand refinements before you use other techniques to shape it. As a result, the value of anything made with thousand refined metal is a hundred times higher than those made of hundred forged metal. Only after you've attained the skill of utilizing the thousand refinements can you then be considered a true blacksmith. Tang Wuling didn't know that for ninety percent of blacksmiths, the level Mang Tian spoke of was an unattainable dream. Thousand refinements required more than just strength. What truly mattered was comprehension, especially in regards to the feelings of the metal. Tang Wuling had studied hard for three years. Only now, coupled with his innate divine strength, did he finally have the qualifications to attempt the thousand refinements. Teacher, what techniques are needed when performing the thousand refinements? Tang Wuling asked. Mang Tian shook his head. There aren't any techniques that I can teach you. The only thing I can tell you is that when you are forging, you must treat the metal as if it were a living organism. You must think of a way to communicate with the metal while you are forging it. Only with perfect communication will you be able to attain its approval. Find its secrets, its veins. Thousand refinements is also called thought forging. Every single blacksmith's style of doing the thousand refinements is different. They all have their own distinct characteristics. Use your heart to forge. Go and try to comprehend my words. Yes. Tang Wuling nodded. He had originally thought that Mang Tian would at least give him a demonstration, but it seems that his teacher had completely different ideas. Rather, he left Tang Wuling to learn it on his own. After opening up the forging table, he placed the heavy silver within the forging table's furnace and began heating it. This piece of heavy silver was about 30 centimeters squared. It twinkled a soft silver light. When it entered the forging furnace, Tang Wuling began to recall the introduction to the properties of heavy silver that Mang Tian had given him before. Heavy silver was an uncommon metal that could only be found on the seafloor at depths surpassing one kilometer. It was extraordinarily hard and possessed amazing ductility under high temperatures. It was also an excellent conductor of soul power. In fact, it was so good that it could amplify soul power and give it a five to ten percent boost. Whether it is used for industrial purposes or for manufacturing makers, it was still an excellent metal that was hard to come by. Still, heavy silver was not without its own flaws. It was simply too dense. The stone an extraordinary weight. For instance, this piece of heavy silver that was less than a third of a meter long was over 200 kilograms in weight. In fact, it likely near 300 kilograms. As a result, even if heavy silver was produced in excess, it would still be impossible to use it in large-scale mecha manufacturing. Its weight also restricted its applications in mecha manufacturing. It was much more prevalent in large, solid-state soul devices. Heavy silver was rarely found in cities that were located further inland. It was instead much more common in seaside towns and acted as an important source of income for these seaside towns. His teacher had given him a chunk of heavy silver. Upon inspection, it appeared extraordinarily perfect. Its color was very even, signifying that it had already been purified before. Lastly, it felt heavier than usual. The heavy silver was hard, but it was still softened under the blazing heat of the furnace, becoming far more ductile. Only when heavy silver was in this state would it be suitable for forging. Chapter 27. Concentration of forging. Tang Wuling picked up his thousand refined tungsten hammers as he had recalled his knowledge about heavy silver. The cold handles of his thousand refined tungsten hammers invigorated him. At this moment, his depressed self disappeared. There was only two words in his mind: thousand refinements. If you look closely, you would find that the thousand refined tungsten hammers body had turned black. On the hammer one, could vaguely see a pedal pattern that was unique to the thousand forgings. After heating the heavy silver in the forging furnace for half an hour, it finally reached a suitable temperature for forging. Tang Wuling took out the heavy silver. He then gripped his thousand refined tungsten hammers and focused his vision, raising the hammer in his right hand. He lightly touched the heavy silver, producing a ding sound. This test was called the testing hammer. Before blacksmiths began their work, they would do this to test the forging metal softness. Mang Tian nodded when he saw Tang Wuling's look of complete focus. This child's perception was exceptionally high. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been able to lay down such an excellent foundation in three short years. He had a steady temperament while also being extremely clever. It was only fitting for Mang Tian to pass on his legacy to this child. The thousand refinements he faced at the moment was undoubtedly a very important test for him. As Mang Tian stood at the back and observed Tang Wuling, he was convinced that Tang Wuling had the ability to pass this test. Above all else, his body wasn't lacking in anything that could cause complications after Wuling's recent growth in strength. He was only nine years old this year. If he was actually able to complete this thousand refinements, then Mang Tian feared that Tang Wuling would have broken the record. The Blacksmiths Association current record holder for thousand refinements was held by a Saint Craftsman level blacksmith at 13 years, three months, and then two days. Naturally, Tang Wuling was unaware of Mang Tian's thoughts. He was currently concentrating all of his attention and spirit on the heavy silver in front of him. He raised the hammer in his left hand and smashed it down on the edge of the heavy silver. Dang. Even as the entire chunk of heavy silver throbbed, the hammer in his right hand was already descending at lightning speed, pounding at the silver once again. Although he hadn't reached the realm of thousand refinements, he had already produced many hundred refined metal components before. Regardless of how the thousand refinements were, he had to start with a hundred refined metal. During the process of hundred refinements, he would come to understand its characteristics. Tang Wuling wouldn't usually forge with such an uncommon and high-grade metal. This was his first time forging with heavy silver, so he had to understand its characteristics first. The pair of hammers moved in harmony, continuously pounding the heavy silver. He wasn't even using his full power; nearly thirty to forty percent of his full power. Sparks flew off in all directions in flashes. A rich tempo of pounding filled the rooms. It created a lively song of forging. Soon after, the hundred refinements had been completed. Similar to thousand refinements, hundred refinements wasn't as simple as pounding the metal a hundred times. Rather Rather, the impurities within the metal had to be gotten rid of while preserving the integrity of the metal and increasing its density. After the hundred refinements, Tang Wuling understood the valiance of the heavy silver. First of all, heavy silver's hardness surpassed all the metals he had previously forged. Furthermore, it was exceptionally flexible. When struck, it would only vibrate for a moment, as if it were resisting Tang Wuling's strength. Fortunately, Tang Wuling hadn't used his full strength to strike it, so he still had plenty of energy to control the casting hammer. When faced with a thousand refined tungsten hammers that weigh forty kilograms, ordinary metals weighing eighty kilograms would have a cavity struck into them with only one strike. However, the heavy silver was only slightly deformed after one strike, even after being heated to a suitable forging temperature. This kind of uncommon and strong metal wouldn't be thousand refined easily. During these three years of tempering himself with forging, Tang Wuling had learned the value of patience long ago. He didn't feel even a tr
its internal structure changing, Tang Wolin became more and more concentrated in his forging as time went on until finally, he entered a fantastic state. To him, the only thing that existed was the heavy silver in front of him. His soul power enhanced his strength, thus increasing his stamina and focus even more. In fact, after undergoing such pain and suffering, his spiritual power had definitely grown by a degree. Soul power below the realm of spirit connection didn't seem useful at all. However, its effects were actually present everywhere. It could improve one's perception as well as support one's persistence. Tang Wolin was even more focused on his forging under the effects of his increased spiritual power. His three years of forging had definitely contributed to his spiritual power being assessed at level 38 by the spirit pagoda spiritual power machine. An hour later, the heavy silver didn't seem to have changed much. It was only slightly deformed. Two hours later, the thousand refined tungsten hammers began pounding the metal even more intensively. Tang Wolin's forehead was covered with sweat. After his unceasing forging, his body was already exhausted, but his spirit was still extremely stimulated. Two hours later yielded little results. In fact, the state of the heavy silver wasn't too far off from when it was only hundred refined. However, he had managed to gradually communicate with this chunk of heavy silver in these two hours. If someone looked closely at the surface of the heavy silver, they would find that each corner had a small circular depression. Tang Wolin didn't know how many times he struck each of the corners with the thousand refined tungsten hammer. Every time it was struck, its whole body would vibrate, giving Tang Wolin more insight into its characteristics. Dang. This strike was clearly louder than the previous ones, raising the eyebrows of the nearby Mangtian. Tang Wolin finally started to use more strength. Afterwards, loud hammering noises resounded one after another. After two hours of careful forging, he had already understood the character of this metal. Now it was time to truly begin forging it. His whole body trembled each time he hammered the metal. Starting from his calves, his power then traveled to his waist, before moving onto his back, then arms, until finally, it descended down towards the thousand refined tungsten hammers. The power of each strike already exceeded 300 kilograms. The buttons for controlling the furnace's flames were underneath. With a light tap of his left foot, the furnace fire reached its maximum intensity. The orange flames that were sputtering out of the furnace's ventilation holes had already heated the heavy silver into a bright red color. Chapter 28. Thousand refined heavy silver. The higher the temperature, the more ductile the heavy silver became. Two hours of patient forging passed. The metal suddenly erupted. But Tang Wolin continued his relentless forging. With each powerful strike, the heavy silver gave off sparks as it began to deform. Whenever his arms began to ache, another wave of heat would circulate out from his vertebrae. It dissolved all of his aches the moment it flowed into the hundred bones of his four limbs. Tang Wolin also automatically transferred soul power into his arms in order to maintain his strength. Gradually, the chunk of heavy silver grew smaller and smaller as it became progressively more pure. It must be said that heavy silver's strength was that it already had very high and incredibly dense characteristics. If one wanted to purify and shrink it, it would be exceedingly difficult, especially if one wanted to avoid destroying its veins. As Tang Wolin's hands purified the metal, however, this chunk of heavy silver's value increased by at least two or threefold. Tang Wolin wasn't even aware of how many times he had struck the chunk of metal. Gradually, the sounds of pounding died down. In front of him was a chunk of heavy silver that was releasing a faintly discernible radiance. Every time he struck, it appeared as if it would breathe in unison with him. Tang Wolin's vertebrae was already scorching hot and, hidden under his clothes, the dim golden veins pattern appeared. Off to the side, Mang Tian's attention was completely focused upon the chunk of heavy silver and he hadn't noticed the change in his disciple's body at all. A golden spark appeared within the deepest depths of Tang Wolin's eyes as his hammer became one with his body. With every strike, the heavy silver would sing out a comforting note. Tang Wolin's eyes shone brighter and brighter as his hammering also sped up. All of his strength was condensed into the pair of thousand refined tungsten hammers he held in his hands. The heavy silver was beginning to reveal its purest state. It shrunk more and more, shrinking by 5%, 10%, 15%. After reaching this degree of shrinking, its density had also reached its limit. It couldn't possibly shrink in mids anymore. Tang Wolin still continued to hammer it. With every strike, the heavy silver's vein lines would improve a little. Its vein lines were becoming more and more fair. The light of the forging flames had long since eliminated the blacksmiths within the room, turning them into a deep red. Tang Wolin's clothes were soaked in sweat. Even Mang Tian, who was watching from the sidelines, had his forehead covered with sweat. Thousand refinings. This was the feeling of the thousand refinings. As a grandmaster blacksmith, Mang Tian had an outstandingly acute perception and knew that Tang Wolin and the heavy silver had come to an agreement. This was a type of indescribable feeling that one could only understand after completing the thousand refinements. Mang Tian had originally wanted Tang Wolin to just gain an understanding of heavy silver, and then he could finish his first thousand refinements any time before he went off to attend the intermediate academy. He absolutely didn't expect that Tang Wolin would be able to begin his thousand refinements the very first day he touched the heavy silver. Moreover, he had already entered this special state. This could be attributed to not just Tang Wolin's strength, but also his perception. A child like this was definitely destined to become a great master. Throughout his life, Mang Tian's greatest regret was his inability to become a Saint Craftsman level blacksmith. As he watched Tang Wolin, however, he could see the boy fulfill his dreams in his place. Three hours had passed. Tang Wolin had never forged continuously for such a long period of time, especially with such intensity. Soon, three and a half hours went by and it was four hours. Unaware of what was happening, Tang Siren stood outside of the forging room's doorway and waited. His son hadn't returned after so long, so he had come looking for him, just in time to see his son dripping with sweat. That fantastic tempo was like a symphony of hammering played under the focus gaze of his son. This was the first time he had seen his son forging. Clearly, this was a higher level of forging than he had expected. Tang Wolin was only nine years old too. In these three short years, he had unexpectedly already reached such a level in forging. Tang Siren had made his fair share of master blacksmiths before, and now he could descend the aura of a master blacksmith coming from Tang Wolin. Tang Siren didn't dare disturb him. Tang Wolin was clearly focused on his forging and gave it his heart and soul. Furthermore, Mang Tian was still observing from the side, clearly indicating that Tang Wolin was making a breakthrough in his forging right now. Four and a half hours later, Tang Wolin's expression had turned pale. The golden pattern on Tang Wolin's body had even disappeared long before Tang Siran's arrival. The swollen ache that he felt in his first year of forging emerged once more at this time. His arms began feeling heavier and heavier. Evidently, he was overdrafting his strength, but still he didn't stop. He persistently continued using the majority of his strength, each strike having an equal amount of power as the one before. His body was being supported through sheer willpower as he continued on forging. Almost done. I'm almost done. I can't stop now. Not now. I'll have wastes all of my efforts if I stop now. Due to a sort of profound connection between him and that piece of heavy silver, Tang Wolin was able to grit his teeth and bear the pain as he continued forging. Mang Tian subconsciously clenched his fists as he watched worriedly. In fact, he was even more anxious than Tang Wolin. If this child was able to succeed on his first attempt at the thousand refinements, then without a doubt, he would gain a lot of confidence. With that confidence, it would greatly benefit in any attempts at the thousand refinings he does in the future. His success rate would be much higher than other blacksmiths. However, will he be able to hold on until the end? It had nearly been five hours now. Even for Mang Tian, he would have to spare no effort and use his soul power in order to continuously forge for five hours straight. Bang, 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 bang. The thousand refined tungsten hammers continued hammering the metal as it baked in the fires of the furnace and stayed a bright red. If the hammers hadn't been thousand refined already, then they likely would have broken down long ago. Suddenly, that chunk of heavy silver trembled a bit under Tang Wolin's hammer blow and released a silver radiance, basking the whole room in a silver light. Tang Wolin lifted that hammer and then heavily smashed downwards with both hammers at once. In response, the silver light grew even more
tiny silver was now a whole circle smaller than it was before. Its fiery red color quickly faded away and along with it, the twinkling silver light also dimmed. Before it had been forged, its dazzling silver color was already worn away and looked closer to a humble gray. There had been an additional layer of detailed lines on its exterior, just like the great waves of the sea. These veins patterns seemed as if they were carved on its body, yet it actually felt exceedingly smooth. The gray heavy silver had given off a profound feeling. It truly had fantastic qualities. It was the same for the thousand refinements version. Different metals would have varying difficulties for being thousand refined. If the difficulty of forging these thousand refined tungsten hammers was said to be a level of one, then the difficulty of the heavy silver could said to be level five, maybe even level eight. When Mangtian had Tang Wuling try the thousand refinements with this chunk of heavy silver, he had never expected Tang Wuling to actually succeed. Rather, he wanted to use this sturdy metal to temper Tang Wuling and let him gain a feeling for the thousand refinings. However, five hours later, a whole five hours, he had succeeded. That heavy silver had been thousand refined. Chapter twenty nine. Understanding refinement. Tang Wuling sat down on the floor as he was overcome by a surging wave of weakness. Mangtian expertly removed a bandage from his pocket and pasted it onto his apprentice's wrist, covering the previous wound. Mangtian, a master blacksmith, had a strange look on his face. His mouth was still slightly ajar at the sight of what had just happened. A genius was still a genius at the end of the day. Even if Tang Wuling didn't have a hammer as his martial soul, this fact remains unchanged. His ability to comprehend more than makes up for this deficiency. The thousand refinements, even amongst most blacksmiths, it was a challenge that could not be accomplished. Yet, it was actually done at the hands of this nine-year-old child. This was an unbelievable act. Tang Siran had already rushed in to hold his son up. Mang Tian had been quietly mulling over his thoughts for quite some time before he spoke. Genius, this is a genius at work. Wuling, you must always remember the feeling you had today. To you, this is just the beginning. This is just the first of the shocks you will bring to the blacksmithing world. Unfortunately, the five hours of forging had led him to being completely spent and Tang Wulin hadn't heard the words his teacher spoke. He had already dozed off in the arms of his father. When he next awoke, Tang Wulin was on his bed. The sky was bright and the sun's rays pierced through the window sill and into the room. It shone on the bed Naya used to sleep on. Although Naya had already left, Tang Wulin had never allowed his parents to remove her bed. Deep down, he had always felt that Naya would come back one day. Although his wrists no longer caused him pain, his body still felt weak. His body felt warm, thus he lazed about on his bed. He felt an odd sense of comfort. A faint smile broke out on his face. The thousand refinements, it should have been completed. So this was how it felt like to experience the thousand refinements. Even when he lost consciousness, he could still clearly remember the feeling. At that point during the final stages of the forging, every hammer stroke resonated with the heavy silver. There was an extremely profound feeling. To him, the heavy silver felt as though it were alive. As Tang Wuling took a breath, so too did the heavy silver. Every stroke of the hammer was like a massage for the heavy silver and it called out with feelings of relief. When this feeling reached a peak, the heavy silver transformed. Its physical changes had accumulated to a point where it had become fundamentally engraved into the metal. Even if he didn't know what happened afterwards, he was still confident that he had succeeded. I am not a piece of trash, at least not when it comes to blacksmithing. Even as a soul master, my blue silver grass is no ordinary blue silver grass. Naya, if you were still around, how great would this have been? You would definitely be happy for me. Brother will get stronger and will protect you. I will never let anyone harm you. Naya, please come back soon. If not, tell me where you are. Why did you not explain yourself clearly before you left? I really miss you. Naya's sweet smile was etched into his mind. Her voice was like that of a skylark. When she called out for her brother, that pleasantness left him greatly satisfied. I will definitely find you in the future. I promise you. Gradually, the warmth from his body had led him back to dreamland and he fell into a deep sleep. When he next awoke, it was due to his hunger. The sky had already turned dark. Considering that he had slept since last night, this meant he had slept for an entire day. Mom, Dad, Tang Wulin shouted as he got up. His exhaustion had already dissipated but his stomach was still empty. He felt so hungry that he could eat an entire cow. Son, you're awake. The door opened as Lang Yue rushed in. Tang Wuling said with a hint of pride, Mother, I can already execute the thousand refinements. Lang Yue's eyes were bloodshot. To her this was not important. What was important was her son's well-being. Good boy, is your body uncomfortable in any way? Lang Yue asked gently. Tang Wuling shook his head. Nope, I'm just hungry. Mom, since I'm hungry, is there anything to eat? Yes, yes. Mom bought a fat chicken for you and boiled chicken soup with it. It's waiting for you to drink. Your teacher said that you overexerted yourself and after waking up, you would need some nutritious and digestible food. Dot fifteen minutes later. Lang Yue and Tang Siren stared speechlessly as their son gorged himself. To their son, what was a nutritious and digestible dish? So long as it could be eaten, it could be digested. An entire fat chicken, along with a pot of chicken soup, five buns, and two plates of vegetables had already been consumed by this nine-year-old child and stuffed into his stomach. In addition, he looked as though he still hadn't had enough. He was still eating his sixth bun. Go and cook a few more dishes for our son. Tang Siren said as he swallowed a mouthful of saliva. Looking at his son eating with such gusto, even he felt like eating. Lang Yue hurriedly stood up. Tang Wuling really could eat, especially after spending such a large amount of energy. He spent almost an entire hour gorging before finally letting out a sigh of relief. Son, you didn't hold anything back, right? If it hadn't been for Tang Siren stopping her, Lang Yue would have stopped letting Tang Wuling eat his fill. That capacity for food had already long surpassed a normal individual. Tang Wuling had a smile on his face as he said, Mom's cooking is still the best. I ate till I was content. Tang Siren carefully inspected his son's wrist, his eyes shining with a strange light. The place where Mang Tian had cut open Wuling's wrist just the day before had truly already healed. There was only a faint red line left in its place. At this point, Tang Wuling remembered and asked, Father, was I successful in yesterday's thousand refinements? Tang Siren smiled and nodded, Of course. You were successful, very successful. Your teacher could not stop praising you and said that when you awoke. You should quickly go and find him. Tang Wuling jumped off his chair and said, Then I will be on my way. Lang Yue frowned. It's so late already. Why don't you go tomorrow? Tang Siran also stood up and said, He just awoke. An hour and a half later, and he will still not be asleep. Since it still isn't too late, I will bring him and we'll be back after that. Lang Yue gave him a glance, then threatened, If anything happens to my son, I tell you, you will be sleeping in the living room. Tang Siran sheepishly touched his nose. Well, he's my son as well. The father and son Joy left the house and made their way towards Mang Tian's workshop. Master, I'm here. Tang Wulin shouted once he entered the doorway. He eagerly anticipated what his first thousand refinings work had produced and what it looked like. The feeling of finishing the thousand refinements had led him to feel exceptionally happy at the moment. Mang Tian, clothed in his warm work clothes, walked out from the inside of the workshop. He usually had a cold exterior, but today, upon seeing Tang Wulin, he actually let out a smile. Unknowingly, his eyes were full of satisfaction. He looked at Tang Siran and nodded his head before beckoning to Tang Wulin. Follow me. That piece of heavy silver was still in Tang Wulin's workshop. Mang Tian did not even shift the metal from its location after Tang Wulin was taken by father yesterday. Take a look at your work, said Mang Tian to Tang Wulin. He pointed towards the heavy silver. Chapter 30, Blood Sacrifice Thousand Refinement. Actually, without Mang Tian's urgings, Tang Wulin had already moved over to inspect his own creation. Compared with its original state, the metal had already shrunk by one circle and the originally lustrous silver had turned into a dull gray color. Tang Wulin's first impression was that the object possessed a deep, reserved, and simple quality. Engraved on the surface of that gray metal were endless
Mang Tian asked Tang Wulin. His method of teaching was different from others. He would usually not give a lot of guidance and would only speak when his disciples had attained enlightenment through practice. Tang Wulin nodded his head and said, It was as if the metal had gained a life of its own. Every time I struck it, I could hear the sounds it was making. Mang Tian smiled yet again. These two days he had smiled more than he had in the past year. Not bad. What he said is true. The thousand refinements create vitality. The hundred refinements purifies and removes the impurities. The thousand refinements bestows life into the metal. The thousand refinements was originally a method created by us blacksmiths to infuse life into a metal. The metal that is life can then be considered to be the most precious by us, and in turn this can allow it to awaken its innate special qualities. The thousand refinements creates vitality. Tang Wulin silently mulled over those words before his eyes lit up in understanding. Mang Tian continued, This is your first thousand refinements work. Traditionally, in the blacksmithing world, when a blacksmith creates their first thousand refined work, this object should undergo the blood sacrifice, in order to forever be part of the blacksmith's belongings. Blood sacrifice? What is that? Tang Wulin asked curiously. Mang Tian continued, If one were to say that the thousand refinements were to bestow life to metal, then the blood sacrifice would be to let it become one with your blood vessels. It would become a part of your body. Combining the blood sacrifice with the metal that has undergone the thousand refinements, this would result in your blood vessels having the same improvement, being able to bring out stronger innate qualities. At the side, Tang Siren couldn't help but shout out, Brother Mang, if every thousand refinements requires the blood sacrifice, how much blood will a blacksmith lose? Mang Tian retorted, If you don't understand, don't blabber rubbish. Do you think that every thousand refinements produces an object worthy of using the blood sacrifice on? A blacksmith's first thousand refined work will have to undergo the blood sacrifice, as this is our tradition. From today onwards, very few objects will require the blood sacrifice. Usually, only when one is wholly satisfied with the result would one do so. Once you utilize the blood sacrifice, this piece of metal can only be used by the individual. Even if others were to attempt to forge with it, it would not be possible as the metal would not recognize anyone else. Even if they tried, the metal would just shatter, it only recognizes its master. Thus, a thousand forgings work would usually not undergo the blood sacrifice, unless the client wishes to use their own blood to do so, then it would work. Tang Wulin, I want to emphasize to you on this point. In the future, unless you really need the metal and the thousand refinements is successful, do not easily utilize the blood sacrifice. That will only harm your vitality. Yes, master, Tang Wulin promised as he nodded furiously. His eyes, however, were already focused on that piece of heavy silver. It's yours. Mang Tian smiled as he said it. Wulin replied in shock, but master, I cannot afford it. Mang Tian continued, this is what you deserve, this heavy silver might have a price on it, but the thousand refinements is priceless. Also, as for the rules of the blacksmithing world, regardless of whomever provides the material, for the first work produced by the thousand refinements, it belongs to the blacksmith who made it. Being able to undergo the thousand refinements, the tungsten hammer is not very suitable for your use. With the size of this heavy silver, it is perfect for producing two hammers. Before you leave to for an intermediate academy, first finish crafting this. I also want to see what your first thousand refinements works awaken special quality is. Are you really giving it to me? Tang Wulin's eyes shone with happiness as he asked, do you actually think I want to fool you? Mang Tian retorted, it's no longer early, go back tonight and rest well, come again tomorrow to forge your heavy silver hammer. Oh yeah. Thank you, master. Tang Wulin cheered happily. He gave a deep bow to Mang Tian before grabbing the heavy silver and hugging it. As the thousand refined heavy silver was grasped in his hand, Tang Wulin could feel that it was extremely heavy. This piece of heavy silver was approximately 150 kilograms in weight. When one looked upon it, it didn't seem all that large. Metal in hand, Tang Wulin could feel what his master had said about the connection with his blood. He could already feel that this heavy silver was a part of him as he held it. This feeling was both wonderful and strange. If he were to use this material for his forging hammer, what kind of result would that bring? For the next few days, Tang Wulin was immersed in the forging process. Blacksmithing brought him a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction. What he didn't know was that only after he finished the thousand refinements had Mang Tian truly recognized him as his disciple. To the point where Mang Tian stopped his work to patiently teach Tang Wulin. Three days later, the heavy silver forging was finally complete. Looking at the hammer on the forging anvil, Tang Wulin's heart was filled with Pride. When he had just finished the thousand refinements on the heavy silver, that was just the base of what was to come. Now, this was truly his first complete thousand refinements work. Looking at the appearance of the hammer, this thousand refined heavy silver hammer was no different from the thousand refined tungsten hammer. Even its size was similar. The difference was that the weight was several times heavier. If not for Tang Wulin's strength combined with his spirit cell strengthening, even moving the hammer would not have been an easy task. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also, leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.